Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Mini Metro. This is one of my favourite little puzzle games. It looks so cool. It's based on a tube map thing. So if we go into play, we can carry on where we got to last time, which is this level, Osaka. 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 Hopefully one of those three pronunciations is right. I probably pronounce pronunciation. 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 So here we are in the level. If you've never seen this before, let me explain very quickly. On the screen, we have shapes. The white ones are stations and the black ones are passengers that want to get to the corresponding shape. So the person here, the square, he wants to get to the square station. Now at the bottom you'll notice we've got three colours. Each one of those is a different line. So if I draw a line from there to there, that is our red line used up. And the square has boarded the train and he goes over to there. And when he gets off, look in the top right, we've got one point because we've made one journey. Yeah, and then we can just extend the line so we can say go through there, maybe go up to there. And then this train will just pick up passengers and drop them off as needed. And each time it does that, we get an extra point. And the idea is to just last as long as possible to make as many journeys as possible. Because if too many passengers queue up, they get mad and it's game over. Now up in the top left, we have a triangle. He's sort of on an island. This is water along here. So we're going to have to use a bridge or if you look at the icon, it's actually a tunnel because we're underground, remember? So if we draw a purple line from there over to this square, you can see there's a little dash thing. That is one of our bridges used up. I need to stop calling the bridges, they're tunnels. And then in the bottom left, we've got another train. So we can literally, we can drag this, we can place it anywhere we want to on a map. So that would do that. We can also say, no, we want you over here on the purple line. So we can move him wherever we want to. Yeah, we might even want to put an extra line in, like we might say, let's have an extra line across there and across there. And then that train, you go on the blue line. And I think last time I sort of worked out micromanaging is the key to this game. So we're going to try and micromanage a little bit at the start. But the reason I picked this level is there's a really, really cool thing that they've added. And hopefully I'll get to show you that soon. Right, I'm going to take this red one off there. And we're going to go that way because you don't really want two of the same color in a row because uh, that means you're not going to get any passengers boarding and leaving because it's the same shape. Uh, but anyway, it's the end of the week, which means we get to pick an upgrade. Now, usually you just get to pick a single locomotive, but you'll notice here we've got the choice between two locomotives or one Shinkansen. So we're definitely picking that. It's basically a bullet train. It is quick as you like. And then we can either pick a new line or some tunnels. I think as we've already got two tunnels, I'm going to pick another line and we're going to put our super fast train on it. Or perhaps actually what I might do, I might extend this red line up to there and then shove this guy on the red. Oh yes, because then we can extend up to that triangle as well. And then look at this train. Look how fast it is. It's flying like a bullet. It doesn't actually look that much quicker. I've been told it's quicker. I think it is quicker. It's just better at like long journeys. Oh, there you go. Now it's flying. When it doesn't have to stop every time, it is fast. All yeah, right, we've got, we've got a circle down there. Now, not ideal to take this blue straight down because then we got the two of the same shape in a line. Not ideal. So what I might do... I might do that and then take the red down to there. Ugh. And then we've got another circle. What's with the circles? What I might do, I might realign this purple one to go through that circle, then this square, and then to that circle. I think that is a much better route. Yeah, bottom right, we've got a slice of pizza. So what I might do, I might take the red purely because it's the fastest train. And I'm basically, I'm just going to keep extending the red line and then trying to link up the other ones. So, ooh, little triangle there. We'll move the line onto you. And just like that, we're absolutely smashing the points. 120 points already. And it's nearly the end of the week, which means new upgrades. So, week three, do we go with another super fast bullet train or do we get more locomotives? I'm sort of thinking if I get two locomotives and then another line, then I've got two more colours. And then after that, I can start getting the faster trains. Yeah, let's do that. So, we'll do that. We'll get a line. And then we can think about putting extra lines in. So I guess you probably want to go from a triangle down to there and maybe across those ones. And also bottom right, that's just upgraded into a cross, which I assume is like a hospital. Yeah, but thankfully we've got two lines going to there, so that should be fine. I could always extend the red line to go to the cross as well. But I feel like things are okay. We've got, we've still got a pink line to use up. We've still got a train to use up. We've just smashed 200 points. Nice. 
Right, circle up there. Not ideal. I think we're probably going to have to get an extra line in. Can I go from the start? Yes, over to there. And then maybe to that triangle. I might even go to the end of that line as well. Just because I don't like the look of it. Filling up with passengers. Oh, look, we've got a diamond up here as well. Shall we we'll go on to the diamond? That's probably a jewellery store, right? Or maybe it's fake diamonds. If you tilt your head, that's just a square. Right, week four, we're going to grab a super fast train. A Shinin Schlichtuf. And then rather than a line, I think I'm going to go with an interchange. Now, these are just stations that have twice the capacity. So basically, I'm going to sort of keep an eye on where the traffic's sort of mingling to. I know a lot of a lot of colours are going through the square, so it could be there. But we'll wait and see, and then we'll add that to where it's needed most. All right, a triangle over there. I'll just move the pink. And the pink actually has quite a lot of stations on it. Now, this is it's stepping up quite rapidly. So maybe that's where we want to shove our fast bullet train. Yeah, but for now, the journeys, then they're, they're not too bad. I think red is still the sort of major line. But yeah, right, we've got another, we've got a circle up there. I hate, I hate circles. They're so common. Oh, we've got another circle. Come on, game. So I think what I might do, I might bring you up to there and extend the green up to that one. Oh, look, we've got our first alarm. That is not ideal. So I think what we're going to have to do is probably shove a bullet train on that line. So train goes there, should pick up a load of triangles and then drop them off at the triangle station. But we won't get to see that because it's the end of week five. So do we go with more locomotives or another fast train? I think two locomotives. And then what I might do, I might take a carriage rather than a line. Because I feel like adding carriages to my bullet trains will actually help massively. Or do I want the lines unlocked first? No, let's let's stick with carriages. Yeah, we'll just extend this blue over to there. Nice. All right, so we'll shove a carriage on this bullet train. And now you can see that's moving fast with twice the capacity, which hopefully means I can extend this line a little bit longer, like over to that circle, just to help things out. All right, we've just hit 500 journeys completed. Love to see it. Yeah, there is a rather annoying little circle in there. I might do that. Yeah, and that just puts this circle between the square and the triangle on the red line. If I'd done it the other side, the train would have gone from triangle to circle to another circle. We want to avoid that, remember? Right, bottom right isn't looking good. I should probably use my extra locomotives. So, locomotive, pick up all those people. Thank you. And then this pink isn't in a good way either. Oh, goodness. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I might need an extra locomotive on the pink line. Although this purple's going as well. It's all it's all hit the fan. What is going on? i tell you what. There's, there's a few triangles waiting there. I might do a bit of that. That actually saves a tunnel as well. Right, week six. Let's grab some more locomotives, I think think uh, and we've we didn't have a choice there we've just been given an extra line so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna take an extra line my brown one we're gonna go from the square to this circle to this triangle and i think that will be a nice through route this pink i'm gonna take off that one and just go up there and then we'll see where we want to add extra trains i think one to try and save this brown one yeah okay that's good that's good that bar, if it ever gets full up, it's game over. So you, you got to watch out. You do need to watch out. Let's extend this blue over to there because there's no circles on the blue line at the moment. And then I'm going to think about this triangle making it an interchange because it's getting a lot of traffic. I might as well do that. Just put the triangle between the two circles. And then down here, oh, we're going to have to use our bridge. So let's go back with that. And up to there with the pink. So we're no longer... We can't get any stars from the pink line. That's all going to be purple lines. Let's extend this green up to there. Oh goodness. We'll add an extra train to this purple line. And I might make it go through the triangle as well. Just so we can get rid of some of those people. Because yeah, well that, that got a bit close. That got a little bit sketchy there. Right, week seven. Do we go locomotives or bullet train? I feel like I've I've got two bullet trains. These lines are getting long though. Let's go bullet train. You only live once. And then an extra carriage as well. Right, down the bottom, I've just moved this green line down to there. I feel like green or pink needs a bullet train with a carriage. 
I think it's going to be pink. Now we're going to have to bypass this triangle so that we can take the pink up along there. No, we can't. We Why is this an island? We can't get over there at the moment. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? I think we get rid of the blue and that red doesn't go across there. It just goes to there. And then we've got two bridges. So we can do the pink over to there. We can do the purple over to there. And that's all of our bridges. But that is every station connected. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's fine. Uh, next up, we've got serious carnage in the middle. I think I might have to interchange this. Or do I want to? You can see how much bigger it gets. It's, it's huge. Uh, now I'm going to I'm gonna save the interchange. I feel like that will be really good for emergencies. All right, lots of crosses waiting in the middle. We need the blue train to come back and deal with that. Now you can see where we cross over there, where, where the green and the blue cross. The train goes really slow over it. So it's not ideal to cross paths, basically. Like, look how slow these trains are going. Look, slow down. It's not ideal. Ah, that's not ideal either. There's a very close alarm happening. Right, I've just hit pause, I think. Unless I can move this bullet train to go that direction. Yes, yes, get everyone on board. Phew, okay, I just about saved my life there. But there's literally, there's alarms everywhere. Oh. <laughs> it's week eight, thank goodness. Let's grab two locomotives and a line and let's try and sort this out. Right, brown line, let's extend you up to there. I mean, perhaps you can go via the triangle. Is that a good idea? Maybe. Right, this station on the green line is not good. Thankfully, there is a train arriving. Is it enough in order to make it go down? Yes, just about. We've got to think about where we want a new line to go, though. Like, I feel like trying to link up all these stations could be a great shout. So what if we were to go, like, from here down to square, into that circle, into that triangle, over to there, and over to there. I feel like that does, like, quite a nice sort of cut through every single line. I really need that train to hurry up and take passengers. Come on, take all the squares. Yes, nice. Okay, that's good. That is good. Okay, let's get another train up the top because that is an alarm that's about to screw us over. We've also got this circle to deal with in the middle. Perhaps we can take this blue line down there. Is there a way to make these not cross over? Yeah, like that. Sweet. Okay, remember, we've still got our interchange. I'm going to use that for emergencies. But at the top right, 1,500 points. That's actually really good for this game. Whether it's good for this level, though, not entirely sure. Ah, okay, we've got we got train carnage. Are there any empty trains? This bullet train is doing nothing. So we can probably shove you on the green line for a little bit. So what if we make you face upwards? We could extend that over to go to the square, because there's so many squares on this line. That's it. Everyone get on board. Everyone get on board. All aboard the bullet train. Nice. Oh, no. Look at this. Oh. Okay, phew. We've been saved by the end of the week. It's week nine. Do we grab more locomotives? Yes, I think so. Or do we grab a bullet train? Now, more locomotives, I think. And then maybe I'll grab another interchange just to save myself. So this blue one has just left that station. It didn't have enough people on. So I'm going to make it go that direction with another train. That should take all the squares and hopefully some other shapes. Yeah, that's just about fixed that. Now we've still got one train and two interchanges. There are two alarms going badly. Oh man, there's actually, there's alarms everywhere. There's alarms everywhere. All right, so train up the top. You go deal with the pink. Uh, is anyone going to get to that blue in time? Or oh, is getting tight? Okay, I've just hit pause. That's a, probably as close as you can get to that alarm without it going off. So let's make that station bigger. Not ideal, but it is what it is. Yeah, I'm then going to grab the bullet train from the green line. And I'm going to shove it on this purple line facing right. Because uh, we want to pick up most of those people. Yep, and then most of the people from the next one. Oh no, it's picked up too many people. It's picked up too many people. Okay, we need, we need an extra empty train. Because I've only got one interchange. Ah, uh, I think we're dead. I think we're dead. What if I move that train back to there? And then interchange that one. Will this train pick up the purples? Oh, it's tight. It's tight. No, it didn't pick up enough. Oh, it didn't pick up enough. We got 1,900 passengers, though. We lasted 59 days. 
And on the leaderboard, that puts us in the top 15%. But we got beat by Mr. L, who's usually a bit of a loser. Not today. We've also unlocked Stockholm and St. Petersburg. So perhaps we'll try them out next time because I want to see if like a grid system would work. Like think of mini motorways where you use like a grid system like on roads. Could we do that in this game? Potentially. But I will say 1900. I think that's one of my best scores. Yeah, it's literally my best score by miles. So nice. Pat on the back, Matt. Well done. And on that note, I will say peace, love and a pat on the back. Cheers, guys. Thanks for joining. Bye.